And now, suspense. Your host tonight on the Autolite Theater is the maker of the famous wide gap Autolite resistor spark plug. The spark plug that's ignition engineered by Autolite, which makes complete ignition systems for many of America's finest cars. From bumper to tail light, Autolite makes over 400 products for cars and trucks. Spark plugs, bumpers, hubcaps, bullseye seal beam units, radiator grills, batteries, wire and cable, ignition systems, pedometers, instruments, tail lights, and many more. So remember, from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now, Autolite and its 60,000 dealers and service stations everywhere present Suspense. shelter you're looking for, you can find it in here. It's all right. to yourself. What do you want? I'll feed you, buy you some clothes, and allow you a pound a week. What do you want from me? I'll perform the duties of an indoor servant. What else? Nothing. But you must obey me in two things. 
You must always keep the front door closed and you will never leave this house alone. Except in the morning when you go to do the shopping. You see that door there? That leads to my laboratory. Nobody goes in there except my assistant and my clients. You're never to enter that room. This is Tilson, my assistant. He'll show you your room. I don't think I'd better... Sleep well, Hetty. You'll see things more clearly in the morning. I think she'll do. We can use her to sit in front of the shop. I was wondering... She'll allay you... all suspicions. And then our special clients can come and go as they wish. Suppose she finds out our real business. How will we keep her here? I'll marry her. Ah. She'll look very well sitting in front of the shop. My wife sitting out there, perky and frilly. Every morning the postman saying, Good morning, Mrs. Branson. And the constable too. That'll calm his curiosity. It might. Then again, it might not. Why, in six months we won't have a worry in the world. Good morning, Miss Eddy. Oh, I want to test you myself. What wind power? What lungs? Well, I can't play a bit. I have to admit that all right enough. And your lips? Oh, you must have real muscle in your lips. Well, I, I suppose anyone that does anything a lot. Um. Goodbye, Miss Eddy. Goodbye, Mr. Tom. No one. Hetty will close the door. Is there any detail of our marriage agreement that I've not lived up to? No, sir. You have a room to yourself? Yes, sir. Enough clothes? Yes, sir. Enough allowance? Yes, sir. Have I ever disturbed you? No. Have I made any demands upon your privacy or on your person? No. Then I must insist that you carry out to the last letter the agreement. 
as I've carried it out. And that means that you're to keep this door closed at all times. And you never leave this house alone, except when you go to do the shopping. And you'll discontinue your silly flirtation with that boy from the mission. Please, White. Couldn't you just talk to me a little at supper? If you don't carry out the terms of our agreement, believe me, I have ways of making you. Couldn't you maybe say something in the evening if, if you like what I cook? Or the dress I put on? Or smile at me now? A little? I must get back to my work. matter? Not ever to go out again except to shop. Is that what he said? He is a stern one, all right, all right. Then I, I won't be seeing you outside? Just through the window? Etty, I bought something for you. Well, not really bought it. I, I picked it out of the rummage, but it's absolutely new. I wanted to give it to you because of my respect. And then maybe... I thought maybe you might let me even kiss you. It's a yellow scar. Oh, oh. oh beautiful. Tom. Yes, Eddie. I gave my word out I wouldn't go out. Well, that doesn't mean I can't come in here. No. That doesn't mean you can't come in here and kiss me and kiss me and kiss me. Potiphar's wife. Potiphar's wife? Mission, sir. Mission, please, sir. You know, Tom, it's too infernal hot tonight to be anything but honest. Mission, sir. Mission, please, sir. Thank you, sir. It's a hot night, all right. You said it, son. It's a murder in that night. Mary? Yes? Did you have in mind to ask me some question in reference to Hedy Bronston? Tom, do you know you're meddling and mixing with another mm. man's wife? I do. Oh, why don't you stop? I tried to. I don't blame you, Tom. She's a woman with a soft, loose mouth. Anyone can see that. I tried to stop a month ago when I give her a scarf. But I didn't. Now I can't. So I suppose I'll just keep on till it comes my time to pay for it. Mission to, sir. Mission, sir. Mission to, sir. Where did you get that yellow scarf? Oh, that. I've had that. 
How long? A month. Where did you get it? Well, I don't... Tom, the mission boy, gave it to what him. What if he did? Any arm? Might be. Oh? Why did he give it to you? An acknowledgement because I took the pledge. The what? Odd times when I've seen him, he's been so sad and serious, like wanting me to take the temperance pledge. So, so one night I pledged, and this is my reward for being temperate. Oh, any arm? Betty, give it to me. What? Take off the scarf and give it to me. I shan't. Take it off. You'll remember that you're my wife. My wife does not receive presents from other men. You filthy beast! Give me back my scarf! Oh, you ain't gonna crush me like this. Treat me like dirt, you filthy beast! Just because you played the Good Samaritan. You think you can do what you want with me? Never speak a word to me? Why shouldn't I talk to Tom if I want to? He's young and lively. He knows I've got blue eyes. I'm like a kitchen maid here! And I'll be called Miss Old My Own. A wife's supposed to be mistress of her own home, ain't she? Well then, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm inviting Tom to supper. Yes, sir, I am. And tomorrow night it is too. Betty, I warn you. Don't ever ask anybody here to suffer. You think I want to leave my life away with you two filthy beasts? And Hetty... What? Don't touch this scarf again. Touch it! I'll take it! I don't care where you hide it, I'll find it. And I'll wear it tomorrow for supper. Yes, sir, I will, I will, I will! Pick her up out of the gutter. Give her a hoe. What does she want to do? Bring it down in ruins around my ears. Well, this scarf will be slowly destroyed. She will be too, she doesn't know that. Let's ask the boy from the mission to supper. The two of them can stand a lesson. Hello, Eddie. Oh, thank you, Tom. Dear. Where's the hunchback? He's gone too. Anyone say anything? No. Ever go out like this before? Not at this hour. Maybe it's a trap. Maybe it is. Oh, Tom. They're out, I tell you. As soon as the front door opens, we'll hear the bell ring. Maybe... Maybe I shouldn't have come for supper. Tom. Tom. He took your scarf. He took it from me in a beastly fury. It's in there, in his laboratory. You mean, I'm to get it? Found the key. Didn't dare go in alone. Never once been in there. Will you go with me now, Tom? Do you really want the scarf so much? Yes, I do. Maybe I ought to stay out here and watch, and then I can warn you. Who does he think he is telling me not to touch it again? I'll touch it all right, all right. to show him I've got to.
What's that? Company for supper, Hetty? Yeah, yeah. Didn't I tell you yesterday? Oh, yes, indeed you did. Good evening, sir. Uh, Tom Weatherby. This is Tilsit, my assistant. Have you got any biscuits, Hetty? Biscuits? Yeah, Tilsit here is a can of salmon. I've suddenly got a hunger for a bit of cold salmon on a biscuit. I like it with my whiskey. Mm -hmm. You got the can opener, Hetty? I looked for it earlier. I couldn't find it. Well, it doesn't matter. That old hunting knife of mine will do. This one, sir? Yes. Hold the can steady for me, lad. You know, it's a funny thing about this old hunting knife. I've never actually killed anything with it. Of course, I'm not a hunter. But I imagine if anything came prowling around, I could frighten it away. Hold it steady, lad. That's right. Oh, oh I'm sorry, boy, but I've slipped. Oh, it's all right. Don't. It's nothing. Don't. <laughs> Better bind it up, Hetty. Get something to bind it up. It's all right. I think I'll be going along now. Better that way. Too bad about supper, boy. Some other time, maybe. Tom, you can't go that way. You're bleeding. I'll get some gauze from the laboratory. No, I've got something here. I want Where did you get that scarf? Did you steal it from my laboratory? Mind your business. Don't use that scarf, Hetty. I warn you, don't use it. Shut up, you beast. Hetty! Aren't you seeing me? Hetty! Well, and what now? Tom, oh. whatever it is. Sorry. Oh. It's fire, Amy. This hell is fire racing through my veins. Wash your hands, Betty. That powder will burn. It's fatal if it gets into an open cut. Come with me, lad. I'll see what I can do for you. You filthy devil. Oh, God. God, I can't stand it. It's that scar. It's going all over. What have they done to me? Oh, Mother! Mother! Bronson! What have you done? I... I warned you not to use that scarf. He's dead. needing a place to stay. Thank you, Boris Karloff, for a wonderful performance in The Yellow Scarf. This is Rex Marshall speaking for Autolite, and in just a moment I'll tell you about next week's suspense story. But right now, here is a parade of some of the more than 400 Autolite products made in Autolite's 28 plants from coast to coast. The horns, windshield wipers, relays, ignition coils, and batteries. Autolite stay full batteries. The batteries that need water only three times a year in normal car use. There's the wire and the battery cable. There come the Autolite starting motors, followed by the distributors, the generators, and the gas gauges. And there are the spark plugs. Ignition engineered resistor spark plugs. Say, look at that precision. Typical of Autolite, for Autolite means precision engineering. 
So friends insist on Autolite original factory parts at your neighborhood service station, car dealer, or repair shop. Remember, you're always right with Autolite. And say, have you sent for your Autolite key light? It's a pocket-sized keychain and flashlight that you can get for only 25 cents if you send your name and address and the name and address of the place that services your car to Autolite Toledo 1, Ohio. Send your name and address and only 25 cents in coin with the name and address of the place that services your car to Autolite and get this amazing key light. Do it now, this offer is limited. Remember, Autolite Toledo 1, Ohio. Next week, we'll bring you another gripping story of suspense, a play entitled Help Wanted. Also, be sure to listen to Suspense each Thursday night on your radio. And now, good night from Autolite. <laughs> Portions of this program are on motion picture film. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.